one of my secret millionaire strategies that I've been teaching for years in my seminars that really helps you to give and enrich, give and enrich yourself, give and enrich other people's lives is this. You have to remember that life is short. Life is so darn short. And I learned this the hard way. When I got a telephone call one day from my dad, and my dad said my sister Vicky had collapsed and she was in the hospital with the right side of her body paralyzed. Now this was pretty shocking for me because I was with Vicky about two weeks before this happened and Vicky was perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what we did. We went to the mall, we ate some pizza, then we went to a movie and we were just hanging out as brother and sister. So we initially thought, well, it's got to be a pinched nerve in Vicky's hip or in her back because Vicky was a young person. The first set of test results came back and it wasn't a pinched nerve. Then we thought, well, maybe Vicky had a stroke because medical research is telling us now that people of younger ages can get strokes nowadays. The second set of test results came back and it wasn't a stroke. Then a few days went by and I could not reach Vicky on the phone in this new hospital room that she was in. Finally, I got connected to the new room. She answered the phone and I got all excited. I said, Vicki, hey, how are you? And she asked, did you hear? And I got even more excited. I got all jazzed up and I said, what? They figured it out. Everything's okay. That's why you're in a new room because they upgraded you and everything's cool and you're coming home. She said, no. I have a brain tumor and the doctors say I'm going to die in three months. And I'll tell you, I didn't know what to say. I had no idea what to say. All I remember thinking is, man, this doesn't happen to my sister. You know, because we never think that something like this will, will ever happen to our brothers, our sisters, our moms, our dads, our grandmas, our grandpas, our good friends. We always think like, man, it happens to other people. but. It doesn't happen to somebody that I love and care about. I hope you've never experienced what I'm about to tell you that I experienced next. I hope you never have, and I hope you never do. And I certainly hope I never experience it again because it was the scariest thing I've ever felt in my life. When Vicki said that to me, I tried to talk back to her, and nothing came out. You know, you hear people say they tried talking and nothing came out. And you figured, well, they just decided not to speak. No, I'm telling you, as sure as I am breathing right now, I was talking to my sister, Vicki. But nothing was coming out of my mouth. There was not a sound. And I don't know how that happened, because I know I was talking. And to this day, I can't explain it. And it was the freakiest thing that I've ever experienced, because I know I was talking, but there wasn't a sound coming out of my mouth. I don't know if my body was in shock when I heard this or what. And then unfortunately, about three and a half months later, Vicki went on and, and died. And it taught me a very valuable lesson about life in general. Life is short. Life is just too darn short to not enjoy it right here, right now. And life is just too darn short that if you want to attain a certain level of wealth in your life, to not pursue it right now. You know, you hear people say all the time, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, let me share something with you. I don't make many guarantees when I'm doing my seminars or when I'm doing my motivational talks for corporations or colleges or youth groups, but I will tell you this. I will make you this guarantee, and this is a guarantee that I make in every one of my presentations. I guarantee you this, that you or I are not guaranteed tomorrow morning. Not one of us is guaranteed to wake up tomorrow morning. And when you think about life like that, and you think about the goals and the dreams you want to accomplish, or the level of wealth that you desire to accomplish, so that you can give to yourself first, and then enrich yourself, and give to others, and enrich their lives, you realize that, you know what, it's time to get going. It's time to get cranking, and it's time to put the pedal to the metal, and take action on what I want to accomplish. And remember this, you know the most beautiful gift you have? It's this. <sighs> there you go. Don't ever forget that. But don't also forget that we're not guaranteed to have that tomorrow. 
So whatever you desire in life, whatever your goals, whatever your dreams are, whatever level of wealth you wish to attract for yourself so that you can give and enrich yourself, so that you can give and enrich others, I encourage you to go after it and start doing it right now.